Hi, in this video I'm going to cover how to append files together in Power Query, but these files may have mismatch column names and also mismatch column orders. So these three files, they sit in a folder called data. And you can see the first file is probably the way that I would want it in this example. I just want two columns, one that says ID and one that says quantity. Now, if I want to depend other files to this, you can see there's going to be some problems because the second file has this column for three columns, and the ID column is not even the first column, and it's mis and it's a different name, IDs, and this one for quantity, it's quantities with an S, and we don't need this domains column. But if you are familiar with Power Query and you append these files, there's going to be some problems, and it's going to add the secondary column there. Now the third, col third column is a little bit more easier because we have our first column product ID and our quantity is our second column, but also there is a mismatch column name, product ID and quantity. So if you're familiar with Power Query, when you append uh, files together, it's going to try to look for the same header information to put it in, otherwise it will separate it or put it as a different column. Let's see how we can just have all these files appended with the same column ID in that order and do it cleanly. Now there's a couple ways you can do this and I'll show you one way we can do it here. The first thing we need to do is create a kind of a helper table for us. In our helper table what we want to do is whenever we see these mismatched names convert it to this. So that this takes a little bit of homework to look at your existing files that have these mismatched column names and just put it in that helper table. So I'm going to take this. I just need IDs and quantities because that's the only ones I want. Control C to copy. Bring it into my new worksheet here and paste and I'm going to transpose that. All right? I'll call this one before and this one we'll call after. So I want to say when I see IDs make that ID. When I see we want to see quantities with an S, make that quantity. Also we'll do this for the other sheet here where we had product ID and quantity. All we need are these two columns. Control C to copy. Go back here and then paste transpose. Same thing. If we see product ID, Control C to copy, Control V to paste. If we see product ID, make that ID. We see quantity spelled out, make that QTY. Go to insert table. My table does have headers. Click OK. Let's give this table a name. I'll call this, I'll call this uh, field name underscore convert. Press enter. And now let's bring this into Power Query. Go to data from table and range. And it should bring in that field name, that, that table name I just did. And close and load. We're not going to do anything right now with this one. Close and load and this will be loaded as a connection only. We don't want it to have another table in here for this. So as it comes up it will be connection only. Click OK and you can see that our query shows up here. So what I want to do now is I want to bring in those three files and bring it in through the folder option. So go under data, get data from file from folder. I browse for my folder, brought it in here for that folder path, click OK, and now what Power Query is going to do is it's going to see what files are in that folder, and I've got some of the files open, that's why you have this this uh, tilde and the file name repeated a little bit. Go to Combine, Combine and Transform Data, and it's going to create several queries and steps, and the one that we want to look at uh, before it does that, what it's going to do is it's going to combine files and it's going to ask for that sample file to be the one that is the template for everything. Now the first file it finds in the folder is not the file I want it because if I select that, it'll give me an example. That's not the one I want. I want to use the one that is is my sample file because usually it's a good idea to already have one file that is the output that you want. So that one was going to be this one. It just had the ID, let me click here, it just had the ID and the quantity. And that's the one that I want. The other ones, we want to put it into this format where we have the two column and the ID name and QTY name. Click OK. 
And now Power Query, let's close this one. Now Power Query is going to evaluate the query and do a bunch of transformations. You can see that it's made a parameter and this is going to look at the sample file here, which is going to be the one I selected. It's going to do transformations on that file and you're going to have your transformation of that sample file. And this is basically the template it's going to use. And this is what we're going to have to apply some different steps. So what I'm going to do here is I want to I need to demote this. So this transform sample file is important because this is going to be the template to do all the other conversions. You can see if I look into the data, this is where it actually combines everything. Right? And so there's a bunch of things that are missing here. What we want to do is take this transformation file and make it where we can apply a lot of different steps in order to bring in the data for all the other files. So go under the transformation file. We're going to demote these headers. And I'll go and demote these headers. Use headers as first row so it demotes them. Now after that, we're going to transpose. So we want to have this ID and quantity in its own column. Go to transform, transpose, and with that, I'm going to merge this with this conversion table that I did earlier. Go to home, merge queries, and merge on this. Basically what merge does, it's kind of like a VLOOKUP, or it's like a lookup. I want to look up that these values in this table with these values in that table. Now I have these privacy things, I'm going to ignore the privacy here. If it finds a match here, it's going to bring back the column, the, the value from the column in the after. Of course it's not going to find a match here, so it's going to bring back null. But in the other files, it will find matches and it will bring back those values, ID and quantity. So I click OK. You can see here, if I click on this table, it's going to bring back nothing, right? Because this is the correct format that we want it in. Open this, expand it. I don't need that before. Uh, that's fine. I, I'll use the same column prefix. What it's going to do is just going to add that column, that table name dot, and then it will be like fn convert dot, and then after. Click OK, and it brings back null, right? Because these are the values that I want that from here from this first column, ID and quantity. That's exactly what I want. But for the other files, no. Now we have to have another column, basically a conditional column that says, well, if you do find those IDs that are, are not the ones that we want, bring them back. So go to add column, conditional column. And what we're going to say here, I'll just call this a uh, new header. So if in our conversion column, if it equals null, then we'll just bring back that column name, the first column, right? If it's null, we'll bring back that first column, the ID and quantity, which was correct. But if it is not null, then we want to bring back the values that came back, that convert, right? Everything that converted, bring those back. Click OK. And now our new header is, if it's null, then just bring back column one, right? So we have ID and quantity, which are the same here. But if it's not null, it's those, it's going to bring back these other values. It's going to bring those back here. I don't need this column anymore, this convert column and column one, so I'm going to delete those. Select that, press control, select that, right click, and then remove columns. So that's gone. Let's make this one the first column now. Right click, go to move, and move to the beginning. Now I'm going to retranspose this so it looks the same as before, like a proper table. Transform, transpose, and bring this back as the first header as the header. Make this first row as the header. Go to transform, use first row as headers, and now this is the way that I want to see my eventual output, right? If I go into my data, the one that's supposed to take the, these templates and pull those three files and append them, you can see now it's done it, right? So I've got the 2007 03 
all the IDs and quantities are there. Same with 2007, 01, 02. Those are there. And that's fine, right? Go to home, close and load, and it's going to load it onto a new worksheet. And so that worked, right? Let's see if it works if I add another column or do some other strange things. If I open up 2003 again, or 2007, 13, let's say I, I do some strange things here. Right click, let's insert another column here. We'll call this one, I don't know, employee ID. And let's just make up a bunch of employee IDs. I use a random number generator, random between uh, 110 and 30. Control enter to enter that all the cells here. Control C to copy. And then let's just paste control. And then just paste that all as values. Alt. ESV. All right, we have another column there. Let's make something else interesting. Let's control C to copy this, control V to paste. So let's give this user ID something else. We'll call this user ID and I'll make, and then I'm probably ID 100 quantity. Let's make it really big so we know that this value got inserted incorrectly, region two. Click save. All right, now if I refresh this, it's going to work just fine. Now you see it's added that. It's added that employee in there in the 2007-0103. So that's the way that you can append tables that have mismatched column names and mismatched column orders. This is one way to do it. You basically have one file that is identified as your preferred output file. You do the transformations on that particular file. You then look at the other files and make sure that you create a helper table. It has the column fields that you want to change before and after. And then you put all those files into a folder and you can actually add to this folder with other files too. And you make sure you have a connection only query for this particular conversion table. You then get the other files with the get file from folder option and select your particular output file as your sample file and do all your transformations within that transformation file, all the different steps you have here. Save, close, and load, and Power Query should take care of that for you. So you can actually add additional files in this folder. And once these other files are put in here, you can just refresh the query and your output will show up in your table. That's how you can append files that have mismatched names and mismatched column orders. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.